Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So I know it's been a while since I sat down, but I'm bringing to you a very old fashioned makeup tutorial. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to talk to you. Honestly, I feel like I didn't even talk to you guys this much because like I haven't done makeup in like over a week, maybe even two weeks. And I felt like I didn't even know what I was doing. Like I felt like I needed time to concentrate. So um, <laughs> yeah, we're just going to sit down. We're going to hang out, grab your makeup. Let's hang out. I'm just showing you how to get this look. It's super easy. I've been seeing this like really sharp outer edge all over Instagram with like a really smoky lower lash line. And I just wanted to do it. I did start this video doing another look and I ended up not being able to execute it the way I wanted to. So Without further ado, if you guys want to see how to get this look, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're going to jump right into it. So we're literally jumping right into this. I'm not wasting any time. Um, so I'm basically just going to go ahead and clean up my brow first. And I like prepping my lid with concealer, but you can go ahead and use an eye primer if you choose. I just, I just like using concealer. I mean, it's just something I've been doing for years. It's just a little bit of a creature of habit. And then I'm just going to blend it out. I like taking the concealer and making sure I'm really like getting in this inner corner because I hate when like you're blending out your lower, like your under eye concealer or your shadow and then you just get this like darkness there and you know it's really hard to go in and you know clean it up. Perfect. So I've been seeing these makeup looks where it's like the outer corner is like super sharp. And then under here is like smoky, but it's like a crispy smoky. And that's what I want to execute today. So I have my Natasha Denona Viva palette here. And I'm actually going to pick up buff first on a blending brush. I'm going to throw this in the crease. And I always look down into my mirror because I have hooded lids. And I just find that this helps me, um, you know, fake my shape a little bit better. So I like having my handheld mirror and then I also have, you know, a desk mirror right in front of me just so I can always see what it looks like, you know, further away as well. But basically, we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to be sloppy with this at first because with the concealer, then I'm going to go in and really clean it up. This is like just such a good old, you know, old school makeup tutorial, just going in with darker shades, adding dimension, adding, adding some flavor, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just pull this up towards my temple, but like I said, we're going to clean this up. If you have downturned eyes, it might be um, easier for you to like apply um, scotch tape to your, uh, um, to your outer corner, just, you know, to really carve out that line but I mean I could do that too and I don't have downturned eyes to whatever you're comfortable with just going in with a little bit of prairie right here sometimes I hate when shadow goes in this area like I don't want that area to be dark I'm just taking my foundation and really packing this on the lid area because I'm going to add a nice shimmery shade and I want it to really pop you don't have to do this you can go ahead and go in with like the NYX glitter glue the any kind of eye primer that has a little bit of a tackiness to it, that'll really adhere it. I think I'm going to grab my Makeup by Mario palette. Isn't this green so beautiful? Like, why didn't I do anything with this green? I might fuck this whole thing up and just add that green. Because that green is sick. Should I just end it all right now with the green on the lid? I freaking love a green eyeshadow, man. Oh my god. A dirty green eyeshadow? Oof. I think I'm going to do it. Should I do it? I think I'm going out after this, but I don't know where I'm going. We can always wear green smoky eyes wherever we go, right? I don't know, man. What should I do? We are going to take a mix of these shades because I want, like, the coppery tone. I think I'm going to take this first. We're going to use this as, like, our base. Can you guys see that? We're going to use this coppery tone here. This is Metallic 7. And I'm literally going to push that up against... <gasps> 
you know it's been a while since you applied makeup when you feel like you forgot how to apply makeup. I just don't like shimmer going in my... We are going to mix this shade and this shade together and use my finger. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to take your makeup wipe or whatever. Listen, this is a baby wipe, so they have to be in my house at all times anyway. Um, but you're just going to take up your wipe. You know, you can do this with concealer or you could do this with your wipe. And you're just going to go in and pretty much wrap it around your nail as taut as you can. And just create a sharp edge. I personally hate the way that this looks on my kind of eye. I don't know why. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. All right, we're gonna go onto the face. We're gonna go onto the face because listen, I'm getting I'm getting really mad at myself. Um, it's been a while since I've like I actually worn makeup, and I just feel like I forgot how to do makeup, which is not the case, but just feels like it. So I'm just applying my Laura Mercier hydrating primer. I actually love this primer so much. It feels so good on the face. I've had no issues with it. I want to let this sit for a second. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a matter, a more matte foundation than I'm used to. I'm just going to apply the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Hollywood Filter to the high points of the face. I'm just going to blend that in with my sponge. You guys, my favorite sponges are from Dose of Colors. If you see me using any sort of these like peach colored sponges they're dose of colors they're so good i just can't describe to you the material i find that like when i go and i use a beauty blender the beauty blender feels very porous whereas these they feel very like whole i don't know how to explain it i swear but i just i just love it so foundation i'm gonna go in with the nars soft matte complete foundation i really want to test this out i i know a lot of people really really like it i have used it a few times i actually do like it um at, you know being, I, I do have dry skin. Um, the coverage is obviously beautiful. As you can see, it's right there. Um, this is in the shade Salzburg, light 3.5. I like wearing this shade. Don't mind my little scab on my ear. Um, I like wearing this shade. I like the undertone of it. It's like a neutral. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it's yellow, but it's not super yellow compared to like other foundations that I've tried, but. I do like this foundation a lot. You guys, I keep telling you that we're going to be testing out a lot of foundations this year because like within the next couple months because I'm getting married next year and we're like at the one year mark, you know, we're getting there, countdown, less than 365 days and I'm just so freaking excited. Like honestly, like I'm, I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie because I am doing my own makeup and you know, like, as a makeup artist, you just put so much pressure on yourself. But I think I'll be okay. I don't know why I look like Casper right now. I really don't look like that in the mirror. Do you guys see this bruise on my neck? Do you guys see that? That's a bruise. It's my veins. I've had it since I got my tonsils taken out. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. This is in the shade cotton and I'm just going to apply this underneath the eyes. I don't know if this happens to anybody else's concealer, but can you see like can you see that? Like what the freak? Like what am I doing wrong? I'm literally going in with my brush because I don't want this product to be wasted. Like I don't know if I'm screwing it down too tight and I don't think that that's a thing. But I'm just be confused honestly. But everybody raves about this concealer. I've been testing it out. It's pretty good, I have to say. Hourglass definitely has a higher price point than like, um, you know, Benefit and Rare and Tarte. You know, definitely has a higher price point. It's so crazy, but... This is my good side, and I feel like I like the way that this eye looks now more. And I think I'm going to go in with my Milk Baked Bronzer, 
And I think I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to let my concealer dry a little bit. I'm going to go in with this right here. And I like to just push the product into the skin. Except for like when I get to the jawbone and I have to actually, you know, put some work into it. But then when I get to the cheek area, I like to push in. I'm going to go ahead and blend out my concealer now because it's been about a minute. <sighs> I think I made this eye higher. Whatever. I'm going to take this Mel Cosmetics Cream Blush. This is in the shade Cali Dream. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that just to the apples of my cheeks. It is a cream blush, so that's why I'm applying it before I go in with any powder under the eyes. I don't really know what's wrong with me, but I just don't love peach blushes on my face anymore. Like, I don't know what's going on. But I just like a, like a pinky blush now, and I don't know why. I'm going to take Huda Beauty. This is, I think, Cupcake. We're going to go ahead, blend out the under eye, and then go ahead and lightly bake. And I say lightly because I don't let it sit there like everybody else does. I literally, like, dust it off after 30 seconds. This powder is just so freaking good. Like... I just can't get over this powder, honestly. It's such a good powder. I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. And we're just going to literally take the powder on the brush, tap off the excess, and then we're not going to swipe. We're literally going to tap and move, tap and move, tap and move. I'm going to take my Dior um, highlighting palette. This is um, this was limited edition. I really hope they bring it back again this year um, for holiday because I purchased this last year during holiday and I absolutely love it. I think it's just so pretty. And this is like the rose gold one, I believe it is, because I didn't get the regular one. I thought that the gold shades were going to be a little bit too dark for my complexion. Um, you know, like some how some uh, highlighters, they have that, you know, undertone. It just kind of makes it look a little bit too, you know, so. But I love this one. I'm going to take a little bit of this blush. This is by Laura Geller. It's her baked blush in uh, Tropic Hues. And I'm just going to take this and put this right over top. It's a little bit pinkier just to kind of like dull it out because I just think that I don't love a coral blush anymore, which is crazy. Back to the lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of Seed and Cocoa. We're going to push this up against the lower lash line, getting it super, super close to the lower lashes, obviously. I'm going to go in with a very, very tiny pencil brush. I'm going to take a little bit of Cocoa and blend this out. I don't know how people like walk around with a really sharp under eye. I don't know. I just, I can't do it. I love my under eye smoky. Like I would literally drag it down to my cheekbones if I could. I'm going to give my lashes a little bit of a curl and then we'll go in with some mascara. What mascaras do you guys like? I literally hate buying mascaras. I think I say this every time I do my makeup in a video, but I literally hate buying mascaras. I just bought the Rare Beauty one, and I think it's really, really good. Probably one of my fave high-end mascaras. You know, like, that's over 10 bucks. Um, pretty good. I still like my NARS Climax, but that's just me. I'm sort of like a lip on. I'm going to go in with KKW Nude 1. Um, I'm like slowly running out of KKW lip liners. So if she could uh, announce the rebrand, that'd be great. But 
for me. This is a new Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is Runway Royalty. A little bit pinky. <gasps> Still looking a little cool tone to you. I love a good glossy lip. I don't know who doesn't, but I love a good glossy lip. Okay, guys, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I am wearing Beauty Creations lashes. I'll link them down below in the description box. I will also list everything that I used in today's video down below as well. I'll leave some links. They may be affiliate links. Link everything that I use down below. They may be affiliate links. I will obviously let you guys know if the link that I am providing you is an affiliate link. An affiliate link means that if you make a purchase through the link, I may receive some commission. And that commission just helps us, you know, grow on this channel. It helps me with equipment it helps me with purchasing things for you know stuff for us stuff for me to review for you guys the commission just helps this channel grow it helps us be better it helps me be better and it helps me provide better content for you guys um but yeah i love the way that this look turned out i was really hating it to be honest with you it's been a while like it's been like over a week since i've had like a full face of makeup on but i feel good i feel i feel kind of sexy i'm not gonna lie with like you know the crispness and then the lashes I think the lashes just add you know a really nice zhuzh to them and I love when the outer corner on the lower lash line connects to the outer corner on the upper lash line and then I like when the lashes stick there as well I hate when the lashes kind of are a little bit too long for the eye look so they they don't you know line up as well with the end of the eyeshadow that irks my soul but <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you guys all in my next video which will probably not be in this room we will probably be in a completely different setup so i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye